In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can fix Error 2 with Spitfire plugin libraries. Error 2 can occur if you've not downloaded an update to the plugin in the Spitfire Audio app, or you've installed the updated plugin in the wrong location, which means that the previous build would not have been replaced properly. If you've installed to the wrong location and you use VST plugins, this can occur if you've not set the VST2 location in the Spitfire Audio app to the correct location that your door is pointed to. Specifically in Ableton, if I open up the preferences, you'll see that we have an option here to set the custom VST2 folder. If we browse and then select the correct folder on our system where we've installed our VSTs, we should also make sure that this is matched in the Spitfire Audio app under the settings tab in VST2 install location. With most VST2 installs, you'll be installing to the system location, which is why I've got the system location selected here. To select the system location in the app, all you need to do is go to the VST2 install location and then select the default button to make sure that the correct system location is selected within the application. Once your VST install path has been selected, or if you're using any other type of plugin, we can now go ahead with repairing the library or the plugins. For Spitfire Audio Labs, go over to the Labs tab in the Spitfire Audio app, select any artwork, and then select the cog menu. From here, select Repair All Labs, and then browse the location where your Labs folder is stored. Once you've located your labs folder, select open and then select repair. This process now takes quite a while because it's going to repair every labs library that you've installed on your device. As part of the process, it will update all the patches and presets for every library and also replace the plugin with the latest build, which will mean that error two is resolved. Now that we've waited to repair all of our labs libraries, when I reopen the plugin in my DAW, you'll see that we no longer have an error. For libraries such as BBCSO, where the plugin installation is separate to the library installation, you'll need to follow this advice. Go to the Spitfire Audio app and click on the BBC Symphony Orchestra page, find the plugin, and then select Reset. Select Latest Update, and this will reset the plugin installation to the latest update that's available on our system. This will also be indicated on the left hand side panel. Now the install button is available, select it and then make sure that you navigate to the correct BBCSO folder, otherwise this will cause error 3. To change the folder location select the search box, navigate to the location where you've installed the BBC Symphony Orchestra library, select the library folder and then select open. Now that the correct location is selected, we can now click download. Now the application will re-download the latest BBCSO plugin to our BBCSO library. Once the download is finished, we can then quit and reopen our DAW. And now that we've re-downloaded the latest update to the plugin, we no longer have error 2. If you cannot fix this error and require further assistance, please reach out to us at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.